Hey everybody, this is Stephen Luke here. And just want to make this quick video to show you how Explainio works for you and how you can utilize this within your own business. So we talked briefly beforehand in the review about how you should be making your videos more entertaining and how you should kind of avoid the car dealership pitch type sales video. So think about a lot of local businesses, a lot of you know online businesses, we're still using these old out videos. And it really it depends on your audience with the, for the most part, if you notice a lot of stores that create environment where it's entertaining and the experience is great, that oftentimes will bring your kind of your guard down and will make you more receptive to what their message is. All right, so Explainio has evolved over the years. It's, they came out with version one, version two, and version three. So version two looks kind of similar to this because it was a 180 of version one. But if you take a look closely at version three, version three mainly focuses on easy to edit, how it brings in a lot of media elements, it has a lot of integrations and more. In fact, uh, I created a list here just so you can see the major, major differences. So explain to version two was all about, you know, creating a really good explain your videos, but now you can edit faster and edit easier, which I think is very important from a video standpoint is being to edit your videos faster is crucial. Multiple animations at the same time, which means that you can make it more entertaining and more engaging. So instead of having just one animation on you know, a scene, you can have multiple animations going on. And that just makes things more interactive. And then you have full multi-line timeline editing. And actually, if you go over here, you can see that I have created a video and you can see that there are multi lines here. So the nice thing about this is it's kind of move more towards kind of a Asia style of editing. And I really like that because that allows you to speed up the process. So back in the day with version two, you know, it would take you five times or even 10 times more time to edit a video. And now you can literally create a video and less or less within less than half an hour that you also get access to full 3d animations there's you know just the elements and animations now you can bring it to the next level you can import external 3d elements you can do 3d modeling and animation customization so there's a lot more customization there's a lot more you know media elements being brought in so you have access to 180 pre-made text animations you have a hundred video image doodle object animations you have the easy video creation wizard which just allows you to create videos at a faster pace so instead of trying to think what do I do you know you got these templates and presets that you can pick and choose from now the one big one that I would say stands out is the ability to import videos in the most popular formats like ABI WMV FLV mp4 and more and what's cool about that it is is it'll actually convert that video into kind of a whiteboard video which is pretty amazing in my opinion so you can literally turn an educational video into a whiteboard explainer video so how cool is that now you can also do usine integration which is kind of like a online photoshop and you can also integrate pixabay which is basically royalty free images and you can pull that into the actual video editor Got a really cool feature added to the version 3 upgrade so it looks even though it looks very similar to version 2 there's a lot more kind of media elements that have been in friendliness as far as editing speed of editing is getting a lot faster so what I want to do now is just to walk you through the actual software and show you uh, kind of what and how to use it. All right, so as you can see, I made a really quick video with some of these images that I pulled in, but let me just go ahead and create a new project here. 
and we are going to call this test five and click create. So here's the thing. So you can create a new project. You can save it. You can preview it. So before you actually, of course, render the video, you can preview it. You can click on audio and you can add your own voice, which is nice. You can add an MP3 file. You can add some music. You can pick and choose from some existing audio music. You can fade the audio. There's a lot of stuff you can do right here. So that's nice. So not only can you upload MP3, you can also record straight from your microphone as well. You can also import slide packs, MP3 musics, images, sketch packs, slide packs, and different font types. Now, as I show you this more in action, you can, there's a lot more that is built within the system. Now, if you click on settings, you'll be able to integrate with Usine and Pixabay. So if you click on royalty free images here, basically these are free images that you can use inside of your video. And there's a site called pixabay.com. It's free, totally free. You can simply create a free account, get your free API, ID, enter that into the system, and I'll actually have more information and training on how to go about doing all that. But basically, all you have to do is simply click on the images that you like, and it'll literally download these images to your computer. You can actually retrieve these for later use, and I'll show you how to do all that in just a minute. Now, another thing is if you would rather edit in your own native language, if you click language here, you can actually change it, let's say, for example, from English to Spanish. So you can see all the words and icons have changed to Spanish. So let's say, for example, that you have an outsourced team and you've decided that you want to create videos, not just for yourself, but for your clients so that you can sell to your clients. So if you do that, and let's say that you decide to outsource this to the Philippines. So you have a Filipino team. So you can click on language and of course they can pick and choose the language. So they have Filipino here. Now, of course, we know that the majority of times with Filipinos, uh, they are, they know how to speak English and they'll probably edit in English, but that's there just to make it more user friendly. If you choose to go down that route. Now, as far as creating elements. Let's just go ahead and create a new scene. So we're going to press this button here and we're going to create a new scene. You're going to have different scenes or different storyboards within a whole video. So if you think about a movie, one scene could be happening within the So there are varieties of different ways of this you're trying to. So if you're doing a video, you might want to out with some facts. If you're doing a video, ad, you might want to start out with uh, immediately just go straight into it because a video ad, say for example, a YouTube ad, you really want to get down to what you're trying. You're trying to state a problem. You're trying to trying to get somebody's attention right away. So that's going to be like your headline. So we could add some text so we can add text here. So you'll notice that when I added an element and these are the elements down and this is kind of where you're working with your working area. And then of course up here is your timeline. So this is a new feature of Explainio. So you're going to see layers and layers of timelines here. So if I add another text, for example, you're going to see that the text over here. Now we can add this. We can just say, and this could be your headline and maybe this could be your sub headline. Now, if you look closely here, Put this one here and we'll put this one here. Now there's a lot of things you can do with the text. You can actually animate the text. You can change the font family. You can change this, the size. So in, in this case, let's say I want to do something like this one here. I'm going to make the size a lot bigger, maybe 70. And of course you can make it bigger just by grabbing one of these little boxes here and making it bigger. And of course I got the sub headline. I can change the font and make it a little bigger like that. And one thing you'll notice if I put my text over here, it blocks, obviously 
headline. But let's say for example, I want the sub headline to be on the top. If I want to do that, all I have to do is move this text up. All right. You can actually move these around think about Photoshop and think about layers. You can layer one top on the other. So if you have an image, you could put the image on the bottom and then put the text on the top. You can also lock them. So if you lock them, you can't move them around. So I locked the headline, the sub headline. And if I lock the headline, if I try to move it around, I can't. So what's nice about that is it allows you to work with other elements and other layers as you are working around. So things don't move around. All right. So another cool thing about it is if you click this arrow here, we'll unlock these, you can add new effects. So if I click on add new effect, you can actually sketch this by hand or you can do fade in, you can fly in and all that. So, you know, back in the day with version two, everything pretty much would be sketched. So sometimes you don't want to sketch something so or erase something by hand. So you can actually have all these different animation presets. So you can so sort of like PowerPoint, you can have them slide in from the left, the right. You can have them spin. You can do other things. Now, with explain to your videos, I'm going to make them sketch by hand. This one here, the headline and the sub headline, I'm just going to have it kind of fly in. So we're going to click on add new effect. We're going to fly it in. So if we kind of take a look at the preview here, we can see that we've written out the sub headline and the headline actually has flown out. Now, if I don't want that, I can delete that. I can add a new effect and I can also sketch by hand. Now, obviously you can, you saw that the sub headline was written first. So I'm going to move this back up here. Now, in this case, I don't really want that. So all I have to do is move this over here. So back in the day with version two, you literally could not do this. You would have to kind of work with one element and then, then the next element and the next element. Now all you have to do is simply move it around like this. So if I click on preview now, the headline comes first and then the sub headline comes right after that. So see how cool that is. See how fast I was able to move things around. Let, let's add some other element. Let's add, let's say a bitmap image. So I'm going to add an image from local storage. And if you, you just saw that you can actually add images from, you know, Pixabay, from Uzign and other things like that. So you can pick and choose like this one here and it'll actually pull the image in. We can see that here. So now you see how this is in the forefront. I want to move it to the back, right? So I'm going to move the text up like this. Uh, but I'm going to start this here. So you can see now this is actually in the background. So there you go. So I got the headline and then I have the sub headline. Another thing you can do is you can also animate objects. So let's say for example, that I want to add a sketch image. And the nice thing about Explainio is they have built in sketch images. So I can literally pull in different images like arrows, pictures and more. So really, really cool stuff here. This guy here. And you know what? I'm going to, I think I'm going to create a new scene because I don't want to clutter things up here. So I'm going to press this here, create a new scene, and then I'm going to add a sketch image. So I am going to use, I'm going to use this guy here because I want to animate what's inside of this box. All right. So nice thing about this too, is you can animate this little guy here. So I could move this guy out here. I could like add animation. I can move him over here. All right. And let's see here. The text. I think I'm going to add it on top and I'm going to say today we're going to learn how to build a garden and the little man, I want him to uh, kind of appear maybe first. So I'm going to create a new scene. So you kind of want to keep these clear. 
And then of course we can add, you know, animation slides. We can add flash animations and there's a lot of built in things as you can see here. So I'm going to, I'm going to add a single and then I'm going to add a sketch image of a guy here. And by default, you'll notice that typically they are sketched by hand. But of course, like I showed you earlier, you can always change that. You don't have to have it sketching the hand. All right, so I'm gonna move this guy over here and let's just take a look at the preview. And we just saw that, okay, unfortunately in this case, the guy was on the bottom. So I'm gonna move the guy to the top so all the, the actual action is actually happening um, behind him instead of in front of him. Now, another thing I want to show you is if you notice when this scene actually happened, the man came in and then he, of course, he disappeared. So we can actually prolong the actual effect here by dragging this over and we can see that he actually, you know, stays for a longer period of time. Now, another thing is if you close the canvas, you'll actually be able to add, you know, actually see the a preview of the scene itself effects so you can click on effects and if you select the effect you'll actually be able to kind of adjust the effect so it flies in here but we can say we want it to fly in a certain way and, and we also want to increase how long it actually comes in slides text and scene so each scene could have a different audio element within the scene. So that's kind of how you would be able to voice over things. So, and another really cool thing is you can create the video from just this scene alone. So if I wanted to do, make a video just for this, I click this and you can export that scene alone. So there's a lot more other features. You can add 3D objects, you can add slides. So if you want to just do the PowerPoint slide route, you could do that. You could add videos, you can add GIFs, you can add images like I showed you, text, and more. So as far as version three goes, I think it's well worth it because there's a lot more media elements that have brought into it, more integrations that have brought into it, and it's just faster and easier to produce your videos. So instead of taking a whole day, you're now spending about an hour to make your videos. Another thing that I will say is Explainio this time around does provide really good training. I will say that version one and two, they kind of dropped the ball on video training, but if you want to know how to actually use the product to the max, I will say that version three is a lot better and they have a ton, tons and tons and tons of videos that will really walk you through beyond what I've taught you today. So with that said, go ahead and grab Explainio and start creating your entertaining videos that'll help you convert more sales.